you know, the, the reason why I got you here, Mike, is, you know, a lot of a lot of talk in the news about banks and everything else. We got the Silicon Valley Bank that fell apart and, and everything else. And and uh, I know that the public's got a lot of questions. So what are you seeing out there? Uh, it's the state of banking right now because a lot's changed the last three weeks. You know. Oh man, yeah. So let me start off by saying thank you for having me here. Oh uh, yeah. And actually, <laughs> thanks for being the client. You know, you know, relationships are everything, man. And um, you know, the fact that you had mentioned, you know, the, the situation with Bank of America, which obviously when we met, I didn't know anything about that, and it just popped up on you. You know, a lot of things that can be fixed is just by having bank relationships. Now. Talking about, you know, SVB, uh, I'll just call it Silicon Valley Bank just by SVB, so use that acronym here to make it short. But, you know, they failed for for a weird reason, and it, it was a, it's a reason that wasn't ever accounted for through Dodd-Frank or anything like that. It's a, they were actually cash heavy. Most banks fail because they're out of cash and uh, there's a run on the bank and there's no money to give them. They actually were cash heavy. They just made bad decisions with the cash. So they, you know, instead of lending the money out like, you know, you know, typical banks do, they, they were so cash heavy. They took that money and they started investing in um, things like treasury bonds and, and things of that sort. But as you know, in the past five years, rates were been very low. So those, those bonds weren't, weren't producing, you know, any rates. And then obviously in the next, you know, last, you know, year and a half or so, rates have spiked. You know, well, six months. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, you know, rates have just went from, you know, 3% all the way right now. I mean, shoot, I, prime is right around 8% right now. And now you have customers, you know, wanting to get their money back, but those money, their money is tied up in, in treasury bonds. But and not only that, they're not making any money. So when they, they cash those bonds in, you know, they're upside down. Right. And so, and then once people find out, all it takes is one big depositor, like in this case, to say, hey, I'm going to yank my money out. And then there's a they call that a run on the bank, and that's when everybody starts going to a bank and taking their money out. And you know people don't understand that most banks don't uh, the 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 money they have on their balance sheet, that's the that's the cash you know that they the cash value, but it's not the actual money you can just walk in there. You couldn't you know even you Ryan you couldn't walk into my bank and say hey man I want uh, I need to just draw a million bucks out. Uh, the you know we will tell you hey man you got to give us a couple of days to, 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 to gather that up you know yep. <laughs> you know it's, yep. it doesn't work that way so if you have a run on the bank and pe everybody's coming in at once the bank just doesn't have it you know they just they're, they're you know they're gonna fail and, and they're and leveraged what, and they're, yeah you know? they're leveraged mm -hmm. with the loans and things they lent out so it's it was just a a, a, a weird it, you know situation that I'm going to say that it's, it's probably going to be two or three more that, that, that this happens to, you know, if the, if the Fed doesn't step in. Like, they've been trying to. There was a bank in uh, New York where they stepped in. And, yep. you know, and Swiss Bank, you know, just bought one of their competitors, a credit union that, you know, that was heavy in, in Swiss. And then and now you probably heard in Germany, you know, Deutsche Bank is is, is struggling right now, too. So it's it's, really? it's, it's it's happening, you know, and it's slowly happening. If, and if you all, you know, not old enough to remember 2008, um, this is the same thing, different scenario because this uh, 2008 was more mortgage based. You know they were, you know they were given every time Dick and Harry a mortgage with only five percent down, that's or why, zero, <laughs> or zero in yeah. some cases. That, that's why there is a twenty percent requirement on all on all loans. That's just it's just because of that. We learn from that. We we'll learn from this one, but this one is just interesting that it wasn't a, a actual loan base. It was it was more cash mismanagement of cash. 